Horizon Falls Fortune Island pack is finally here, and in keeping with the island's pirate theme, Fortune Island's version of Barn Finds is a two-part hunt for treasure. Each time you solve a riddle, you then search for treasure with a photo as your main clue. Triggering riddles is easy. All you have to do is increase your social media influence by participating in races and stunts, including raid-inspired cooperative live events. Finishing a handful of these will generate enough influence to clear one of ten Island Conqueror rounds. Bear in mind that each riddle will require a specific car. But if you don't have that car in your garage, don't worry. Each treasure chest awards you 1 million credits, which should be enough to get the wheels you need. As a bonus, a few chests include valuable cars as well. Once you solve a riddle, things are pretty easy. A photo clue will appear as well as a hint circle on the map. This is where you put your trusty drone to good use. Study each photo for unique objects and landmarks, then line them up using the drone to match the photos. But if you want to get your hands on those goodies ASAP, don't worry, we've got you covered. Here's how to solve the Fortune Island riddles and find the treasure. This first treasure hunt is practically a freebie. The riddle refers to a massive T-Rex truck. It just so happens it's the vehicle you start with when you land at Fortune Island. To solve the riddle, just drive fast through the speed trap closest to the festival to unlock the photo hint. The treasure is close by, immediately east of Horizon Festival. Look for the metal cylinder and a couple of boats by the warehouses on the docks. The Italian 458 in this riddle is the Ferrari 458. The rest of the clue is straightforward. Take the car up or down needle climb north of the festival and get at least one star at drifting. The photo hint will take you east up the spiraled path of Giant Stolman. You'll find the treasure chest halfway up the route. Along with the cool million, this treasure also unlocks the first bonus car, the sleek Lamborghini Urus 2019. The 65 wild horse in this riddle refers to the 1965 Mustang. Hop in it, head for Viking Bay and look for the Trailblazer Gate. If this is your first Trailblazer, the objective is to reach the goal by any means necessary. When you get the photo, take the drone up to the highest peaks immediately north of Needle Climb, high enough so you can get a good view of the windy roads below. You'll find the treasure sitting on snow and next to a small rock peak. Be sure to have an agile car that can handle the steep terrain. This riddle stumped us for a minute since it's a tad misleading. No, you don't actually jump over fallen structures as the riddle dictates, but you do make a leap at the danger sign closest to the ruins. Fenholm Ruins Leap to be exact. There's less mystery with the car. The riddle mentions a three-wheeled Morgan and there's literally a three-wheeled car by Morgan Motor Company available. After you've solved the riddle with that jump, turn back and head for the ruined swampy area. The Morgan three-wheeler isn't exactly suited for flooded terrain, so now would be a good time to get into something more versatile. While in the hint circle, use the drone to line up the sunken church with the pointed rock formation in the background. Then just look for the chest next to the remains of a house. Unlike the fourth riddle, there's no ambiguity with this Arthurian-themed brain teaser. It calls for a visit to the lady on the lake with an R8 an Audi R8 to be exact. And there's actually a speed trap next to the only lake on the island that's titled Lady on the Lake. Simply notch a three star run with the Audi R8 to solve the riddle. This photo clue is especially easy due to two distinct objects, the lone tree and the large rock formation in the distance. Once you have the tree and rock formation lined up in view, look for the chest in the foreground. This treasure has a bonus car, the Koenigsegg CCBS. You had best enjoy it, especially since only six of them were ever made. The riddle refers to a jeep named Willy, so get yourself a jeep by the car company called Willy. Head for the Will-o'-the-Wisp speed zone in the east. We learned that keeping the speed above 60 miles per hour was more than enough to solve the riddle. The treasure isn't far from the speed zone and you might as well hang on to the jeep since you'll need something sensible to take along the cliffs of Fortune Island. Use the drone to scour the furthest tip of the cliffs. Once you've located the chest's exact spot, take the jeep there slowly so you don't accidentally fall into the ocean. This riddle reminds drivers that Lamborghini makes more than just sports cars. Hop in the LM002 1986 Lamborghini and take it to the Forest Run Trailblazer activity. The time limit for the run is very forgiving, so don't feel like you need to floor it and tear through the forest. You can even go around the Hart Forest if you like. 
The treasure is at the south edge of the forest where the trees meet the lake. Whereas prior photo clues put the treasure chests in the foreground, this photo sneakily hides the chest in the background, so don't bother driving into the water. Instead, start at the water and drive in the direction of the snowy peaks in the distance to find the treasure. The Swedish knight this clue is referring to is in the 2016 Volvo Iron Knight. We had fun threading it down the narrow path of the lakeside speed zone, though there's no need to get three stars to unlock and solve the riddle. With the photo hint revealed, your next stop is the cave at the base of Storm Beach to the south. It's the only cave on the island, so there's no risk of confusion here. All you need is a keen eye to find the treasure. Not only is the cave dark, but the chest is hidden behind some pirate ship ruins. It's especially worth the effort since you'll also unlock the Selene S5S. So far, putting off these performance-based riddles should be a breeze. The ninth riddle is a different story. It hints of a Korean performance car with the keyword Sting. So go get yourself the 2018 Kia Stinger. You're welcome to make a beeline for the riddle destination, the mountainside speed trap up north, but you're going to have a difficult time reaching the three star rating the riddle demands. You need to reach 130 miles per hour, but you'd be lucky if you break 105 miles per hour at the car's default settings. The trick is to upgrade the Stinger and turn it into an S1 rated beast. We managed to get it up to a 873 rating, which was just enough to hit 130 miles per hour. We also highly recommend getting a hefty running start from the countryside in the east. When you unlock the photo, get ready to head way south, focusing on the three southernmost islands. Don't worry, the water is shallow enough to island hop. Head for the largest island within the hint circle and look for the ruins of a house. There you'll find another cool million. This riddle is simpler than it looks. The house that shines like a star is the lighthouse at Skilda Watch. As for the classic muscle car, this riddle refers to the fact that you simply have to pick any classic muscle car in the game. Remember that you can filter cars by type in the showroom. Then drive to the lighthouse and jump off the danger sign. To complete this final treasure hunt, you have to do it in style. Get yourself a Lamborghini Huracan or a car with a similar performance and weight. Then use the drone to confirm the location of the treasure on a tiny island on the lake. Believe it or not, the goal is to jump the island. Head for the west side of the lake and look for an incline along the edge of the lake. This natural ramp is to the right of an RV. The runway is smooth enough that you shouldn't encounter anything that can misalign your jump. And there's no shame in using the rewind function if you don't think you'll land on the island. You're also given the sweet 2012 Lamborghini Aventador J on top of the usual 1 million. So that's how to solve every riddle and find all the treasure in Forza Horizon 4 Fortune Island. Let us know whether you're enjoying it in the comments below, click the box and left for more content from us and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more news, reviews, previews and features right here on Games Radar.